Hi everyone, Bailey Whittle from Deep Creek Middle School here, and in the last video of this three video series, we are going to be putting the pieces together. In the first video, we made our digital classroom image. In the second video, we created these clickable buttons, and today I'm going to show you how to post them in Schoology so that it appears like this. Let's get started! The first thing you will need is to pull up your Schoology course, and this is my practice course, so this is the little sandbox that I've been playing around in. The second thing you'll need to pull up is the Google Docs we made in the second video that contains our table of clickable banner buttons. Let's go back over to Schoology. I'm going to make sure I'm on my materials page, and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom to where it says add materials and then I want to click on Add Page. Now I'm going to title this page my Classroom Announcement Template because this is the template that we're going to use to copy and paste everything later so that it shows up at the top of the home page every time. Now the first thing that I want to insert is my Google or my Virtual Classroom image. So this button here is the Insert Content image button in Schoology. So I'm going to click on this arrow and then I want to click on Image slash Media. I need to attach a file because I'm uploading media from my computer. And then I'm going to click on my virtual classroom image that we made in the first video. I actually am going to use the animated GIF that we made to show you how that works, but if you didn't do the animations, just choose your virtual classroom PNG image. So once you've selected your image, you'll click Open, wait for it to upload, and now you'll see that the image is here in this box. I know it is hard to see everything, but you'll also notice that my text is animated and moving. So now what you'll do is you'll see that your cursor is up here at the top. You need to click the down arrow on your keyboard. You'll see that the cursor is now over here on the left hand side of the image. Hit the right arrow on your keyboard. Your cursor is on the right hand side and then the enter key. So now we are able to type underneath our image. If you want to include a short message that explains the buttons that we're about to insert, you can. Otherwise, hit the Enter key again. My The example message that I would probably use is something like, click the buttons below to navigate through my course. And then again, I want to click the Enter button so that I am on a new line. Now what you'll need to do is go over here to your table of clickable buttons. You're going to select the whole thing and then hit Control C on your keyboard to copy. We're going to go back over here to Schoology, click on the new line that we've made and hit Control V to paste. And then you will see that our table a buttons has appeared. Now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get rid of that extra line because I don't want a huge gap in between my tables. And then I am going to get rid of the gap at the top as well by hitting the delete key. And then I'm going to hit create. And what you'll see is we have a new page down here. And if we click on that page, this is an example of what your announcement will look like. So I'm going to go back to my main page and the first thing that I'm going to do with this is I'm going to come over, over here to my gear and I'm going to hit unpublish on that template page we just made. This now hides it from the student's view so you can keep this in your Schoology materials folders or in your Schoology's material list without worrying about the student seeing it, you can edit it as you need by clicking on the page name, come up here to the gear and click edit. That way if you ever want to change what your example message says or maybe you need to update your buttons, you can. But this is what you will need to do first to get that announcement going. 
Now what you're going to do is select everything in this page. So you'll see that I have click and dragged over to select the classroom image, my announcement, and then the four buttons down here. And then I'm going to right click and I am going to come down here to copy. Now we want to go over here to the updates tab. And this is where you type in a new update. So I'm just going to click in this box and then I'm going to do control V on my keyboard to paste. And you'll see, again it's kind of hard to see without scrolling, that my update in here has been, or that my template has been pasted into this box. The next thing you'll want to do is click on this little plus sign in a speech bubble and you want to check the bell to make it an announcement. Then you click post. And now you'll see that my announcement is at the top of every page in Schoology. And if we go back to the materials page, you'll see here's the image we made. This one is animated, so the text is changing. Here's the message that I wanted to send to the students. And then if I click on this button, it takes me to the first quarter folder. Now, a word of caution. If you have four separate courses for the four different classes you teach, you will need to remake your table in Google Docs for every single class. The reason being is that this link to the first quarter folder is only the first quarter folder in this course. If I had a Bell 2 course, then this link would change and I would need to make a new table and then use that table in my Bell 2 section. So that is the one downside to this method is that the links do change for every single course that you're in, but otherwise you can reuse your digital image your digital classroom image and any message that you want to send to your students down here. Now if you ever want to make a change to your announcement, I recommend changing it in your template first. Again, you do that by clicking on the template page, the gear, and then edit page. And now I can make a change here. Once you do, you click save changes. And then same thing, you'll just have to select all on the page, right click and copy, updates, post a new update, and then you would control V to paste everything in, and then check the bell. This bell is the important part that makes it reappear at the top of your page. Now, if you ever want to get rid of this for whatever reason, if you don't want to use the clickable buttons anymore and you just want to get rid of the whole thing, click on that little X that says remove. And then you'll notice if we go back to my materials page that the virtual classroom image has disappeared. But if I want to add it again, I can just go back to my template down here, copy it, go back to updates and paste it back in. So I'm going to do this with my original template that I made and you will notice I've changed what my buttons look like as well. But same thing, select it all, right click, copy, go to updates, post a new one, check the bell and hit post and here it is at the top of my page. With that, you have successfully made a virtual classroom, clickable buttons, and posted everything in Schoology. Thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I have enjoyed making it for you. I will see you in the next video.